That's the uh, crew setting up under the bridge here. This is our first location of the day. Should be a cool place to shoot in. Well, I've, uh, I've had a lot of previous experience working on other movies. I started working as a background extra about six, seven years ago on a Steven Spielberg movie. It's a great experience, and uh, I got moved up to speaking role really quick. And ever since then, I've been the guy that says five or six lines in a movie and usually gets killed. So I've done about 40, 50, 60 movies, somewhere in that area between the Hollywood ones and the uh, independent short films and feature length films that I'm working on right now. Well, this will be my fifth short film. Uh, I've had a lot of interesting experiences, actually. I've taken a ton of acting classes. Just did an eight-hour call back the other day. Yikes. So far, I've worked on... Well, this is my third short film. A few years of uh, background work, some independent uh, films, background as well as uh, a couple of speaking roles. My experience in the entertainment business is, ranges all the way back to the mid-80s. I started out in the fashion industry, believe it or not. Nevertheless, I did a lot of television commercial work, um, which eventually got me my SAG card, Screen Actors Guild. And that I acquired in 1989, previous to going to Los Angeles, California, to pursue my acting career. I've done numerous I started out with industrial films, um, training films that ventured over into television, and then I went to feature films, and then um, even a documentary or two worked in association with them, um, and several commercials. Commercials is a way of, of eating my bread and butter, so I didn't have to have a, a full daytime job. I could do a commercial and live off the residual checks. You know, a couple of beer commercials things of that nature. I built sets uh, for play and stage uh, when I was involved in theater. I built movie sets with Cinnabar Studios in California. And then um, I've been involved with locations, finding locations for films, uh, props, uh, makeup, hair and makeup, special effects, and a little bit of special effects, scars and blood hits and black eyes and things like that. After being around for so long, you know, it's I, I just really enjoy getting my hands involved on in every aspect of the project. And then associate producing a couple of web series, uh, and biker, bandit brand biker wear stuff. And just really getting involved in all, all aspects of it. <laughs> and I play the character of Krizan on this movie. And Krizan is a bit of an enigma. He's a half alien, half man. Now, when you watch the movie, you may not pick up on that, but in my head, I know that that's who the character is, and how he behaves, and how he thinks. And he escapes from Area 51 uh, because he doesn't feel he belongs there anymore. It's, he feels it's evil, and he wants to be good. And uh, along the way, he meets these two wonderful children. Uh, one's, one kid really thinks he's cool, and the other one thinks that he's just a dirty bum. And uh, so we'll see where that journey takes us and when we watch the movie. I play Kane. Kane is kind of this bratty little sarcastic guy who's just always kind of teasing his sister and just trying to be the funny guy and getting attention. And when he hears that they're bringing home this hobo guy, he's just like, um, what? Her name is Desdemona, and she's actually, even though her brother is kind of a jerk and he picks on her a lot, teases her. She's actually really nice and she really wants to help this guy and she sees a lot of stuff in him that Kane just really doesn't. So she's, she really wants to help him and well she just has a lot nicer personality than he does. She just wants to do more nice things or he just really doesn't care. I play Grandpa. Grandpa is an ex-military man um, an alleged ex-military man. <laughs> Uh, apparently he has ties to uh, the government. He's protective of his grandchildren, but he's still got enough uh, military 
He's been in the military long enough, he's able to justify using his grandchildren to help capture this one individual that's been slipping away for quite a while. My participation in this film, Kruzan, was as director. And, uh, it was an opportunity for me to come in and, uh, on a short film level and learn some of the different aspects of, of working as a director, dealing with uh, the camera people and the camera positions and the technical aspect of it, which I've, I've paid attention to in previous uh, jobs and work. Of course, it was all interesting. I never really concentrated on it until now, but I was really, really interested in working with the actors. I think as an actor, one of the best things you can have is, a, is a, an actor-director. They just really understand each other really well. It's very easy to communicate. You have a lot of faith and you put a lot of trust in them. So that's, that's what I was doing on Krizan, Project Krizan. Uh, as far as uh, if anybody out there wants to get into the acting business, I strongly recommend it. Uh, what you should do is uh, definitely take classes, get as much experience as you can, get a camera and shoot a short film. With computers you can totally edit anything on your own. It doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to look like Hollywood, you just have to do it. And uh, a lot of people, you know, say just do it and that's the truth. So just get out there, take classes and do your research and get practice. Uh, I, I compare acting a lot to being a musician. If you don't practice, you get to a certain level on your music about here. But if you keep practicing, you're always going to keep getting better. Same thing with acting. you got to practice to get better. Alright, thanks a lot for watching. Not necessarily. Just take a lot of acting classes because that really helps you get enough skill to actually start doing it. Just find the right classes. Remember, just don't act. Do. Just be ready to work every chance you get because sometimes if you say, oh, I don't know, then you're lost. You, you missed out on a part maybe. You know, some people say to take a lot of classes. And um, it is important that you, that you are studying on a, on a steady basis or a serious level. And that's if you're not working. In my opinion, there's no experience like the set experience. If you can get on the set as an extra, which is what I did years ago, and, and see how the film industry works, and, and watch and listen to the language, and, and feel the vibrations that everybody has, and, and you get you get more from actual set experience, which is not unlike any other job. You know, more hands-on experience is always the stuff that sticks with you and is better. But the most important qualities to have as somebody who's pursuing an acting career is tenacity because it, your, your life is going to be full of rejection and full of critique and, and you need good positive forces around you to be able to consult and talk to and bounce things off of and the rejection you know, of the auditions and how many times you're going to audition before you actually get a role and the surprising thing of, of actually getting hired for a job and all you've ever done up till then is audition and this thing you go, oh my God, now what do I do? I've got the job, i got to show up and, and do it. And what, I, what I strive for as an actor is to always be prepared and, and that means knowing your lines, being uh, in character and being able to take direction from the director and make transitions when necessary and uh, leaving everything else um, off the table and, and bringing everything that you have to offer as an actor without any inhibitions. Um, but I would say probably the most important quality to have is tenacity. It's great to have support of friends and family, but not all of us are that fortunate to have that. And, uh, you have to be very strong in uh, This is a very tough business and, uh, and it takes people a lifetime to be uh, overnight success in almost every case. So stick with me. Trust me, you won't be sorry. <laughs> it's very rewarding. Very rewarding. I am the uh, writer of Dr. Furlow, the movie that we are getting ready to film here. 
Uh, you can find out more information about me at www.jamesblackburn.org. I'm Destiny Dickinson, and you can find me on nowcasting.com, actorsaccess.com, facebook.com, and www.youtube slash wave to me too. And then there's two other YouTube sites for us. And what is your website that will be up and running soon? Uh, destinydickinson.com, and I think Destiny Dickinson official. Is that also .com? Yeah. Okay. I'm Connor Dickinson, and you can go on nowcasting.net slash Connor Dickinson, or you can go on Facebook. I'm basically everywhere. Or you can go on to YouTube. Go to www.youtube.com slash wave to me to. My full name is Dan Rainey, and yeah, there's a way to contact me. Dan Rainey 52 at uh, gmail.com. My name is Randall Oliver, and I have uh, an IMDb page that's imdb.com slash name slash nm 0646968. A. That'll take you directly to my IMDb page, which is the Internet Movie Database, and you can gather just about any information you want on actors and what they're involved in off of that website. I also have my own personal website, uh, which is www.randalloliver.net. And on each one of those websites, you'll see various trailers and demo reels from my acting experience and, uh, and the projects that I'm involved in. <laughs> Thanks, Dandolph. Oh, I'm going to miss you already. Seven minutes. <laughs> <'Cause you're... laughs> Dan, anything? Hey, it's been great. I'm videotaping, a lot of fun. A bunch of good people to work with. Awesome.